How's it going everyone? Welcome to another Big Chess Gaming LSPDFR tutorial. This one today is going to be kind of a quick one. I'm going to show you how to install realistic usable chargers and citations for Compulite. As you can see it adds a lot more into the game, makes it more realistic. Let's go ahead and click the download file for that to download. Like I said, this is a pretty quick and easy tutorial here, so we're going to go ahead and open the file. As you can see, I use WinRAR, WinRAR to open mine up, so we've got the charge and citation right there. Let's go ahead and close this out. You will have a link to this in the description below. Now we're going to need our GTA file, our main directory as we call it. Those of you who've done tutorials before you know where to find yours you're going to go for me I'll go into steam apps or sorry I go into steam library steam apps common grand theft auto then we're going to go into plugins lspdfr and right here where you see compulite click that and as you can see we got the chargers and citations in compulite here and we have chargers and citations in the file here and all we need to do is highlight those two or we can click one control click the other drag them into your little buffer zone drop them replace destination files and close hit refresh close your main directory and that's it let's go ahead and jump into the game and i will show you what we just did all right so now we're in game let's go over here and have a talk with one of these guys will click our controller. Hold up! I'm talking to this guy here. Let's go ahead and ask him for his ID. Kiflam. All right. Thanks. So we have Josh Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Yep. Uh, so let's go ahead and get back in our vehicle and pull up our computer. So now when we pull up our computer, you will see that there's Mr. Da Vinci he has an expired driver's license. So let's go into citations and look at everything we have here to work with now. And we got anything from look at that. These are all now the letter A's here, that means that this is possibly an arrestable defense, arrestable offense, depending I guess on your interpretation of what they're doing. Let's say they just get in a push and shove argument, you're gonna give them a citation for fighting in public or if the punches somebody and literally knocks a dude out or injures the person or even worse you know then it is an arrestable defense arrestable offense <laughs> and we also have let's see if there's any in here these are all possibly arrestable but yeah that adds a bunch of stuff to it let's go to vehicle or oh I know that going off at well it's like that right there but we're not worried about that right now so let's jump back here to mr. Vince now charges as you can see there's a bunch more charges you can put in and here we go so M stands for misdemeanor F is for felony and just adds a bunch more stuff that you can put into your game arson Wildlife charges. Uh, what's this here? These are for RP and Compulate charge history. DPV 30 day damage. I'm not even sure what that one is right there. I'll have to check into that myself. But yeah, there we go. Got that installed and creates a lot more realism, I think, for the game. But yeah, if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Leave a comment down below if there's something else you might like to see how to install into your game and I will do what I can to start putting out more tutorials and everything. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel and click the little bell to be notified when I upload or go live. So 
thanks for checking it out. We will see you guys on the next tutorial. Have a good one. Bye.